This is a video response to Upstate Arms. Uh, just uploaded, I saw a video this morning where you downed a buck. Um, first thing that came to mind, I, I noticed that, and I've done this in my own, I don't know if I've ever published the, I don't know if I've ever published one of those euphoric aftershots, but you always have that uh, sort of whispery, gentle voice about you when when you've just made a yeah, like oh and he came through the tree line and, and there he was <laughs> uh just picking on you a little bit reason for the video was the the thing about the hunting process itself and this is something i'm sure you know or maybe it's something that i'm observing a little bit different but it's something that ted nugent talked about and i think fred bear talked about it even before him hunting isn't the sole process of why well, I sound like I'm lecturing you <laughs> I don't mean it that way this is what this is what Fred Bear and Ted Nugent said hunting isn't the sole process of just when you when you climb up into a tree or you go into the woods and boom you make that impact shot and kill they said that the the actual culling the actual kill is the culmination of the hunt which starts from the point of having a game trail to tracking timing, luck being a factor, your setup, uh, heaven forbid your gear, um, all of that process, combine that with luck, all up to the climax of the actual impact. I think what happens on, on the years when we don't get the kill, we're sort of cheated out of a, a point of that process where you know you've been hunting the whole time you know and that's that's sort of what I focus on when I'm going into the woods seeing as how you didn't ask uh, I enjoy each point of the process and over the last few years it's gotten to where if I do have a a dry season as we call it it's not as hurtful or discouraging as when it would be otherwise if you consider it to be a failure because there's so many there's so many components and aspects to to a hunt that if if you've done your part and then luck wasn't in the favor or if you have a gear breakdown then then i, th I think it's still a good hunt but it's cool to see a video um with that euphoric thing <laughs> which is genuine it's the it's the thing that a lot of I don't know if they still make these hunting programs, but a lot of hunting programs actually fake. Like they would, they would do the kill after being in the woods for three solid weeks straight, day after day after day, and then they make the kill, and then they pre-record what is supposed to be like before the kill, and then they mash it all together in a bit of uh, fakery. <laughs> all right, so this is your uh, nonsensical hunting video for everybody. Um, hope all, everybody's doing well. Um, we made out okay from the storms. I had a tree come down the night before and uh, ripped a hole in my roof before the storm even hit. So I had this mad dash of needing to put a tarp up and did all kinds of other crap. And working with the homeowner's insurance company on that. Been a, been a process. That's for sure. All right, catch y'all later.